Welcome back to Broncos franchise. We are currently sitting at 500, three and three, um, and going up against the New York Giants, who are four and three. Uh, they do have a little bit better of a defense than us, but our offense trumps that. Um, yeah, so we got a linebacker breakout today. Let's take a look and see who that's for. Another Baron Browning. Uh, let's challenge him this week. I want to keep challenging him. Don't let him get... Uh, I don't know words. Uh, get Baron Brown eight tackles in one sack. Interception, force, fumble. But we couldn't even get him six tackles last time. So, doubt he's going to get eight. We got a team meeting here. Let's see what that's about. Let's talk our game plan for the Giants. What's a weakness that we can exploit? Don't know. Good, which one? Uh, starting guards, I think that said. How should we attack them? It makes sense to target the corners. Or starting receivers. Starting corner, oh, no. I don't know what they're saying. Let's get Troy Franklin involved. Blah, blah, blah. Troy Franklin and Marvin Mims get 15 combined catches. That that sounds doable. I feel like catches is way more doable than touchdowns. All right. So Troy Franklin, Marvin Mims need catches. Baron Brownie needs tackles and some sort of defensive stop. Giants apparently have Mac Jones, who is killing it medium and short passing. Devin Singletary, not scared of him. Uh, we're going to stop the medium pass, I think. And then we shall go with... We'll go throw it deep on them. See how that starts for the first half. I was going to skip the training this week. It can all be simmed and we'll take the bronze for it. Um, I did go and trade for Javante Williams again. Stupid of me, because then it kind of messes with our cap, but uh, it is what it is. I needed to. We needed a uh, power back, and you know he just came to mind. So, oh, let's see here. Let's go take a look at that trade. What is this? Shaq Leonard, Jordan Poyer, and a six for a five and six. I guess I did that one too. Uh, but we gave away Julia McLaughlin a third this year and a third next year for Javante and a third. I nope, that's a different trade. So just for Javante. Javante Williams for Julia McLaughlin a third this year and a third next year. So yeah. Uh, it, it, it makes sense, because Javante's on a long-term deal. I shouldn't have even traded him in the first place, but, you know, at the time, it, it, it felt right, because we were obviously going to pick up Dennis Hayden, um, and I was under the assumption that he was going to be Superstar X Factor, but he wasn't. They uh, they did have an update today, and this they changed the overall... Uh, the overall design on that, so I noticed that right away. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this game right away. Right away, right away, right away. That's all I can say. <laughs> let's get into this game. All right, Dennis Hayen already over 500 yards, almost getting to 600. I didn't really get to read the other stats, but I think Mac Jones is wearing 10. Kind of a retired number for the Giants, but... Yeah, if I remember, I'll go in and change that afterwards. I'm pretty sure he's wearing 10 anyways. That's what it looked like on the preview. And the kick is off. I think that's seven Singletary on the return. Yeah, he's wearing 10. That's going to have to change. Daniel Jones is his backup. Interesting. 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns, and 4 interceptions for Mac Jones so far on the year. <laughs> a 
And Baron Browning with his first tackle today. It is going to end up a sack on Mac Jones. Beautiful. We need him to do that the whole game. That counts as a tackle, right? Like, I'm not going to be pissed at the end of the game because that didn't count. Yeah, okay. We're good. Seven more for him. The screen. I was really hoping Baron Browning got in there. Uh, not really a gain of anything. If anything, he lost a yard or two, but it's going to bring up third and 12. I don't think he lost a yard or two. Screen the other way. We're going to dive with Dodson, get the stop on Singletary. That'll bring up fourth and four. Hunt team comes out. Almost got the block. Yeah, we're just going to let that bounce with Rice. Big mistake there. It's Bo Nix and the offense comes out with a very bad field position at the 8. Almost at 2,000 yards. 9 touchdowns to 7 interceptions. Not good numbers, but still early in the year. We got plenty of time to fix that. Got to remember, Troy Franklin and Marvin Mims need the ball today. But Greg Dulcich just does have that X factor, so would like to get him the ball. Eric Hendricks will be back next week. Clint Rollins will be out for another two weeks. Not ideal, but it is what it is. Don't really want to run at Dexter Lawrence. They're going to have a real good uh, run defense here. Dexter Lawrence, Kayvon Thibodeau, Brian Burns. They just got everybody, man. I kind of want to use everybody early besides, like, Franklin and Mims. That way, you know, we can try and target them later on in the game. But I also don't want to end up having to throw 15 passes to them on the last drive, you know? Little dump out to Hayden there. That's a gain of seven. Yeah. Bad pass. Really wish that that just went to the dirt. Going to be intercepted by Divine Diablo. We're used to seeing him, of course, twice a year when he was in Las Vegas. They are going to run it to the right with Singletary. Bunch of guys in there on the stop. I think uh, Sir Tam was the first one in there. Be another run with Singletary. Baron Browning getting the tackle there. This will be his second one on the day. It's beautiful. They're going to go on the ground again with Singletary. He's going to pick up 10 and more. About 15 on that one up to the 26. It's only three rushes. It felt like he's had a couple more already. Uh, those are screens. Never mind. Don't mind me. That is a sack for Mantra St. Clair, the rookie. Big sack for him. Lost a six. Going to bring up second and 16. This could be a false start on Ian Thomas, I believe that is. Neutral zone. Yeah, right. J.R. Forden on the neutral zone infraction. I don't think it was, but all right. I don't think that's Ian Thomas either. I think I'm just thinking of names to come up with the name. And Terrell Dodson with the dive on Mac Jones. Getting the sack. Sets him back. Third and 19. Beautiful play from the linebacker there. AKA me. I'm going to pass commit. I 
Okay, Mac Jones just gonna throw that away. They're gonna settle for three here. Will Lutz, of course, a former Saint turned Bronco with Sean Payton. We let him go after his our first year here. Yeah, kick is gonna be good. Three nothing. Giants take a lead here with two and a half left in the first quarter. Bo Nix and company coming out. Of course, bad turnover. Last drive and almost a bad turnover this drive. Oh, Lordy. What are we going to do? Probably could have waited and hit Mims over the top of Dulcich, and it's going to be another... Penalty that we're not going to be notified on, but it is what it is. I did yell at EA on X today uh, since they tweeted about the update. Uh, today's the 16th, by the way, that I'm recording this. It's going to go up on 22nd, I believe. Something like that. I'm going on vacation when you guys are seeing this, so um, I'm just kind of recording a bulk and held onto the ball too long there, so. This episode, the next episode, um, yeah, so this should be Monday's episode. Next one will be Wednesday's upload, obviously. Uh, those ones are going to be, while I'm on vacation, I'm also going to just record uh, Friday's episode and get that good to go for when I come back. That way I don't really have to stress too much while I'm on vacation and everything's good to go. I'm just going to throw this one up for Mims. Safety came over, got a hand on it. It's going to bring up second and ten. I was going to go right or left, but... Yeah, I can't cut that back inside with Dennis Hayden. We're going to lose one yard there. But yeah, so I will be on vacation when you guys are seeing this. Uh, today is also... Everly's birthday, my daughter, so make sure to wish her happy birthday. Well, happy late birthday when you guys are seeing this, but yeah, that's going to be the end of the first, I guess. I didn't even realize time it's running out. Yeah, Giants up 3-0. Fourth and 11 for us. We are going to settle for three now. Kick is good by Randolph. Tie it up 3 3. Pats are tan. We a nice little hit stick on Singletary there. Feels like they're just going to go run, run, pass. Of course, as I say that, they're going to go past here and a big sack from Chris Abrams' drain. Going to set him up third and 14 now. So it's probably another pass, I'd imagine. Baron Browning just sliding through. Uh, and Evan Neal on the right tackle position there. Forcing the bad throw, for, not a bad throw, but kind of a forced throw to, from Mac Jones. Setting up fourth down, and they're going to punt it. Rushing yards, Josh Jacobs, Najee Harris, Dennis Hayden, Christian McCaffrey, and Dev Devin Singletary. So two out of the five top rushers so far this year are playing in this game today. That is a penalty, probably a holding on us. Of course it is. What else would it be? It's all it ever is. Mike McClinchy. Glad to see that you're back to the good old days here. Constantly causing us penalty yards. Dennis Hayden bouncing this one outside. Gaining a nice little gain of 10. Second and 10 now. It's almost like nothing even happened. Of 
Okay, so through third and ten. And I'm just trying to get the ball to Mims and Franklin here. Should maybe have Mims on this shot. Nope. Just picked off. Not a pick six, but he'll be taken down at the 15. Terrell Edmonds with the pick. Kind of dumb of me, but... Terrell Dots, another big diving stop on Devin Singletary in the backfield. Lost to six, second and 16 now. I'll go man here, I think. Big sack again. Well, not again, but... It, it, another sack for him today. Loss of 5, 3rd and 21. That better be a false start. No, it's not. On who? Piss off. Oh, it's like that penalty not yet, didn't, or the sack didn't even happen. So stupid, man. JOK with the sack there. Getting a loss of six there. And they will come out for another field goal. That will be good from Will Lutt. All right, guys, let's get something going here. Come on. I might have to start rolling out with Knicks, I think. Dude, I can't do anything. I'm, I literally have to roll out with him. The only way the ball is going to get anywhere. Unless I just hit these drags, but. Drags it is. To like move Mims and freaking Franklin to tight end positions. This one to Mims. Good for eight, second and two. Uh, just under four and a half here. In the first half left. Overthrown for Mims. Second and two. Cut it up with Dennis Hayden. He's not going to get it. We are going to go for this. Fourth and inches here. I was kind of hoping for a bit. Javante, run. Let's pass it. Dulcich, good. 5 for 64 today. Not bad numbers for him. Kind of just want Dulcich on a block here. Just going to hit Franklin on the drag. To have open space up to the red zone at the 20. Got three minutes left. I couldn't decide if I wanted to go through that gap or not. So it looked like Thibodeau was gonna gonna break out of that block, but then he went right back to it. So I don't know. Three to six, Giants are winning here in MetLife. Got two minutes left to play in the first half. We're going to hit a spin with Dennis Hayden and Evan Arnett. Just, I don't know what he's doing. He's doing his own thing, man. Don't judge the man. Third and three. Run up the middle with Hayden. Gets stuck on Mike McClinchy. Fourth and inches again. I don't know. We're gonna take off with Bo Nick. Slide, please. First and goal at the two. One minute left. 
Oh, they might have fixed Hurry up here. Dennis Hayden up the middle. He's going to dive. 45 seconds left. We are going to take a four point lead. <laughs> Thank you. 10 6. All right, four point lead for us here. 40 seconds left. We'll see what the Giants have. We are going to run commit. Nope. Bad decision, bad decision, bad decision. Take him out of balance with Pat Sertan. I thought for sure they were going to run it. Just run out the clock, but we're going to pass commit now. Now that we know it, they're not going to just run the clock out. Baron Browning gets his third, fourth tackle. Pass commit again. Chris Abel strain on the stop. 22 seconds left for the Giants here. I forgot they got Malik Mavers, to be honest. We haven't seen anything thrown to him today, it feels like. Sixteen seconds left, no timeouts. We will see what they elect to do. Pass to Slayton, I think. Shepard. 86, whoever. Oh, it's our ball. Nice. Alright, um... Try and hit Franklin or Mims here. Franklin to the sideline, comes down with it at the 42. Nine seconds left. That was beautiful. I didn't really expect him to come down with that. We do have all three timeouts here. Keep it on the ground with Hayden. Six seconds left. Uh, that's a pretty long field goal, I'd say. All ah, right. I feel like we got we got an extra yard. That's all that matters. Let's try and take our points, and we will. Thirteen six will be your halftime score in MetLife. We'll see you guys in the third quarter. All right. Let's we'll see what Bo Nix and company come out with in the second half. Against Mickey Mackety Jones. We stump this one down to Vernon Coleman. He's going to be just short of the first at second and inches here. This one should be a nice little dump down to Marvin Mims. Just kidding, it's going to be an incomplete pass. The rookie Davis, Brian Davis, I believe that is, right? I thought he went to the Saints. Maybe it's a different Davis, I don't know. Flag on the play. I do want to see what Davis said is uh, before I figure out what the hell the flag's for. Mitch Davis. He is a rookie, though. Flag probably for holding. Yeah. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, Mike McClinchy again. Dude, your ass is getting cut after this game, bro. Well, not cut, but traded, maybe. Just can't out. I don't think we can afford that. Our, our funds are kind of messed up with, you know, me trading away running backs and trading back for them that we sign under big contracts. Let's pass down to Marvin Mims. Pass broken up. Thought we got it over the safety there. Okay, we'll just throw, we'll just keep throwing Mims on drags here. Seems to be the best way to get the ball to him. Gain a seven. No touchdowns and two interceptions for Bo Nix today. Thrown for 205, though. I don't know. This 
one. Another crosser, but deep to Franklin here. He's going to have a big first down for us. We'll go play action. Hopefully Rice can get open here. He will. <laughs> I think it's better that he didn't even catch that because probably would have been a fumble. For all I know. They're showing double A gap blitz and we're just going to run a screen. With Dennis Hayden up to the 17 inside the red zone here. We're going to show it again. We are going to run on that, I think. Show that we aren't scared of that. Big hit by, I believe that was Edmonds. Could be wrong. Probably am wrong. Should have Franklin wide open over the middle. It's a flag. Should be a touchdown, but probably holding. Let's make a bet. I'm going to guess Evan Arnett this time. Showed 79. Walker Little. 72. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't want to touch down for Troy Franklin anyways. Bunch of idiots. Yeah. Third and 17 now. I don't even know what to do. Can't do anything good because then it just gets called a hold. Should know this by now. Big pass to Marvin Mims. Take it down at the four. See who's coming back on that Mims. All right. That might be doable. Ah. <laughs> no words, just the noises. Ah. We'll run with Aiden here. Bouncing it out left, dives, gets a touchdown, 19 to six. And point after should make it 20 to six. And it does. All right, so we need five more passes to Mims and Franklin. And Sorry, six more passes to them and five more tackles with Baron Browning for all their goals to come true today. We are Baron Browning here. Hopefully it's a run up the middle. We can jump a gap. It is a run and we are going to jump that gap and get the tackle. It just needs four more. Halfway there. Should be same thing here. Nope, oh, this one pass broken up by Terrell Dodson and Brandon Jones both there. Rice on the return up to the 23, not a whole lot there. All right, Mims and Franklin. Y'all need some freaking receptions here. Get that one to Mims. We're just going to get you guys some Mickey Mouse receptions, bro. I don't know what else to do. Everything else gets called back. Or you're just an idiot and drop it. I don't know. I'm doing what I can, man. Holy shit, Dexter Lawrence just fucking blew that up. Blew that play up, man. Uh, I kind of want to go for it, but at the tw at R29, that ain't worth it. Clark coming in. Forcing the fair catch on Franklin there. We are Baron Browning again. Hopefully run to the right. Oh, it's a pass. Can't do anything, dude. Get. 
Oh my god, dude. I'm holding secure tackle, right? And he just goes by him. Doesn't even care. Get off the block. Who is that? Who is 86? Questions must be answered here. Player stats. Giants receiving. Darius Slayton is 86. That's all I needed to know. Alright. Good to know. Good information to have. Montre St. Clair, big sack. Down at the 17. Second and goal. Still within the red zone. Stop fucking jumping. Seriously. Killing me. I want to pick up this block for... Yeah, fuck the switch stick, bro. I'm not even going to go through and switch it, but it's pissing me off. Giant score. Going to make the score a 7-point game with 13-20. to 20. Definitely need to remember to get some thumbnail pictures after this because I felt like I've been slacking lately. Hold on. Do I'm just going to start throwing it away as soon as I see a flag. Like my glitch again. Of course. Why wouldn't it be? We'll run on this. Another double A gap blitz. Setting us up second and ten. That will be the end of the third quarter. Up by seven. Let's try and not make stupid decisions here. That would be ideal. We're going to step up with Nix and slide after we pick up the first at the 44. Another drag with Mims. So what happens with Franklin here? Nice catch on the sideline at the 30. Moving us up into the green zone. They're gonna call a challenge. Didn't really mean to skip it. Play is called good. Do another drag for Mims here. We'll see what happens with Franklin on the Left, not good. Mims over the middle, catches it. The comeback for Franklin is perfect. Held on to it a little too long, but 316 yards for no touchdowns for Bo Nix today. We're moving it. We're just pounding it in with the on the ground, I guess. It's not really an I guess, it's I know. Because it's what we've been doing. Can't hit Franklin over the middle, hit as we threw. Go inside zone with Hayden. Hope for another touchdown here. Bounce off the. Off the. Block there. Couldn't really think of the, the wording. to Marvin Mims. Fits it in the hole. Pause. I'm gonna go up by 14. It's gonna be 27 to 13. Alright. So yeah, Marvin Mims and Troy Franklin just need one more reception. Baron Browning still needs four tackles here. No way. Hell of a catch for Malik Neighbors. That's his first reception today. 
switch to Baron Brownie here. Hopefully a run. It's wham. Can't get off the fucking tackle. Or off the run block. I was really hoping he threw it out to the Baron Browning him for that tackle. Hopefully that they gave it to him there. I'm gonna check right away because I would like to know. They counted that, alright. I doubt that they counted that, but we'll check. Oh, I don't want to be annoying with it, but yeah, they didn't count that one. All right. It would be really nice to get Baron Browning to a dev trade upgrade. Should be an end around, and Baron Browning's there. Can't get the stop on Wandale Robinson. Damn. That would have been nice. Then he would have only needed, what, two more? I mean, three? Only needing three right now is good. But four and a half minutes left. God, what the fuck are we doing? Come on, Sertan, you know better. The hell's going on there? Giants make it a one score game. 27 20. Troy Franklin, 7 for 123 today. Like I said, him and Mims just need one more reception. And that'll do it. They're good for the day. They can get a breather. Kind of okay with that, because then get Dulcich more involved again. Run some hurry up here. Kind of just want to score and get the defense back out to try and get Baron Browning his tackles. Two twenty left. Frickin' eh? Forcing the incomplete pass there. <laughs> Excuse me. We'll throw this one up for Franklin. Can't come down with it. We should have secured caught that. I tried to rack it. Not what we needed. So I'm put a little backspin on her. Oh shit. A lot of backspin, I guess. Gonna set him up at the 24. We will get one additional play before the two minute warning here. And New York is currently down by a touchdown. Let's see what they elect to do here. Pass. To 47. Johnson. Incomplete off the face of Pat Sertan. Minute 54 left here in the game. That's out to Wandale. Good. Or a gain of nine. Third and one. Leak neighbors. Nice catch and run up to the 48. They're just going to keep passing, and I know that. 
Just don't know if it's worth trying to get the sack with Baron Browning or not. Just getting boom. Oh, we were there. Come on. Wandale, brick ass hands. Incomplete. Melifanu with the coverage. Oh, we had a beautiful sack on Mac Jones there. Wiping our beautiful sack all over him. Just gonna throw that one away. Fourth and five. Probably gonna go for it. Of course, it's a catch. If I want to be Darius Slayton, all right. Gonna go out in coverage here with Baron Browning, I think. Can't get the tackle on Wandale, but we do stop him at the one. Giants with the touchdown. They are gonna try going for the win, I guess. Don't stop fucking jumping. Miles Murphy, you're about to get your ass back. Back sent to what the fuck? You're about to get your ass sent back to Cincinnati. Giants aren't gonna take the half yard line I guess and just tie the game up at 27 and I'm actually completely fine with that because overtime gives us a chance to get more of a chance for our tackles with Baron Brownie of course we don't want to give the Giants ball and if we do we would like to stop them right away Bobby Okereke and Mac Jones out there There you go, Tails. Ted's, they won. They're going to receive. And kind of what I feared, but. All right. Let's take a look here. What are our stats looking like? Looking like. Defensively, Baron Browning, five total tackles. We need just three more. That's all we need. Isn't on the kick return squad. What a shame. Because that would have been a nice easy tackle for him. I feel like that was a really short kick. But they're going to take it up at the 37. Melifanu coming in, getting a nice hit on Slayton. And Mac Jones is going to throw that one away. Third and two. It's going to be a pass here. Pass to Wandale, good. Fourth and inches. They're going to punt it. Surprising, but all right. Just let that one bounce, baby. Kind of scared me a little bit. But we'll get the ball at the 20. And we'll look to just go ahead and end this thing here. Hopefully one run with Dennis Hayden, but... Of course not. Thanks for Lawrence is back there. Once again, just blowing the run play up. Bounce that one outside. Nice little gain up to the 25. Third and five now.
Hayden dropping the wide open pass there. Oh, it's missed the punt at fourth and five. Giants gonna have the ball at the 41. Let's see what they can do here. Please let Baron Browning get three tackles, bro. That's all I ask. Three sacks. Break off! Break off! Come on! That was your chance, Baron. Motherfucker, dude. Dude, if Bobby Brown would have picked that, I would have shit my pants. That might have been the coolest thing I would have ever seen a big man do. Stop jumping. Is that Baron Browning? Better than Baron Browning. Even if it's just a half sack, brother. Better than Baron Browning. Alright, let's actually go and stop this game. End this game. Thought Ben Rice was going to pull a Harold there. End the game on a punt return. That would have been something, huh? I don't think I've seen that since Sean Jackson. Christmas Day against the Giants, no less. Marvin Mims, beautiful catch on the left side. That'll bring us to the two minute warning. 27 all, could just kick a field goal here and the game, but we're gonna do a couple run plays, I guess. I guess, I think. Dan is saying, dude. Try to get real fast on the outside there and bounce it up, but only for a couple. Five. Still a lot, I guess. And we're going to lose them all right there. Go back four. And we catch them off guard here with a pass. <laughs> Just kidding. They knew exactly what we were doing. 48 yard here for the win. Gonna be up and goodbye, Randolph. 30 27 walk off field goal. Will be your final here in MetLife 30 to 27. Right, what is this? Alright, upgrade for Greg Dulcich. We will go. Kind of want to get blocking on him. Upgrade blocking for like one or two. Of his next upgrades here. Tyler Steen, don't really care about you. Mantra St. Clair, I would love to get you upgraded. We will go Power Rush. Beautiful. Uh, so we did get the... We did not get the linebacker breakout for Baron Browning, unfortunately. We were three tackles short. Damn. Minus 10 morale. Minus three power moves, tackle, and awareness for Baron Browning, too. Oh my god, bro. Oh, that, that's not good. All right, so Bo Nix, or not Bo Nix. Maybe Nix will get a upgrade. Nope. Wide receivers earn 2,500 XP for exploiting their secondary. All right, well, next week we are taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars in Denver. Mark Burr. A lot of the, all of the receivers. Obviously get some upgrades here. Mark Burr will get vertical threat. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Coleman will get deep threat. Bryce already has 99 speed, so I would like to get Playmaker on him. Hopefully get some of that catching up. Catching traffic, catching. Beautiful. Harold is at 97 speed, so we're going to get deep throw on him. Hopefully get another. Oh, all right. And Josh Rodriguez is going to be our last upgrade here. We will go vertical threat on him. Get those upgrades nice and nice and juicy for him. All right. So. Uh, let's see here. Derek Natty, I'm not going to re-sign. He's going to decline very much next season. I don't even know if I can get anything from Austin Booker. Intriguing. What does he look like? 6'5", 253. Let me think on that because I'm assuming that's an expiring contract. He is young. Could be developable. He could be an undersized D tackle, like a rushy tackle, but I don't know. Kier Elam, I don't know if we're going to keep him. He doesn't really even want to be here. Don't know what I could get for him. Logan Lee. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll come up with something and show you guys next episode. But yeah, that'll do it for this one. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. If you are new here, make sure you do subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Tell them to stay cool. Peace.